From the very beginning of the program, we've, we've been faced with the question of how to define a, a successful society, but we also quickly agreed that, that we were not going to try to come up with some magic formula. The argument we've developed in our work is really a complex argument in the sense that we each look at different parts of the animal. So our response to what's a successful society has both an institutional part, which, you know, what does the state does, to redistribute resources, etc. but it also has a cultural part, which is about recognition. How do the societies we live in give us tools to build uh, identities that are strong and positive? I would look at it in terms of what type of society is going to help people meet their needs. And so what kind of needs do people have? People have a need for um, safety and security. We need water, we need food, we need shelter, we need clothing, social needs, right? So relatedness and belonging, a sense of inclusion. From my point of view, a successful society is one that provides people with a certain level of prosperity, decent jobs at a living wage for everyone, society that distributes the fruits of uh, that growth relatively equitably, but also a society that is tolerant, where people are tolerant of uh, those in other religious, racial, or ethnic groups. Strong institutions are primary. Uh, social networks uh, and, and, and the trust in, in uh, those institutions. At the individual level, autonomy, being able to learn and to think critically, being able to make responsible decisions and to, and to live by them and to behave accordingly. I mean, there are many features of a successful society and I think the important thing to realize is that there are often trade-offs there. Uh, you can't always have all good things all the time. Sometimes to have more of uh, one good thing, you have to have a little bit less of something else. And so there are trade-offs. That's one of the great things about human beings is we're, we're endlessly uh, uh, active and creative and, and uh, we're, never, we're never satisfied with the world we live in and, and there, will, there will always be people mobilizing to, in the, in, to, to pursue a better vision of what, what the world looks like.